Hello to all my friends out there. And so here is the cake my next door neighbor gave us. And um, he he had a birthday. And so I, I sell toys and I had this big action figure, a Terminator. And I thought, well, I'm gonna give it to him. And so then they graciously gave us this huge piece of cake. You know, if you freeze the, one thing good about cake, my grandmother would make a cake, uh, a chocolate mayonnaise cake. And uh, you know, you can have cake for a few days afterwards, or like in my case, wow, I'm really glad I froze this. This is actually the second piece of cake I had today. So anyway, uh, rule one, park in the shade. What happened was I was watching cheap RV living videos. You guys should watch those. They're really good. And people, you know, have to live in their cars. Some of them voluntarily live in their cars or vans or motor homes. And I am very fascinated by the women that live in their motor homes. So, okay. I was sleeping and I had this dream of a woman living in her motor home in the blazing heat. And I thought, wow, you know, if I ever have to live in my car, I'm going to park in the shade. You know, if I'm not going to park in the shade, I'm not going to park there. So rule one, park in the shade. Rule two, enjoy life. So it is late. It is one o'clock in the morning. I'm still enjoying life. You know, I was working, you know, posting stuff on eBay. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to really enjoy this cake. First of all, this is a very delicious cake. Now, this is not a cheap cake. This is a good cake. Rule to enjoy life. Um, one day, my dad just dropped dead. That was it. Boom, no more dad. It was... It wasn't totally unexpected on my part, but you know, you never, he just dropped dead. So, you know, or, you know, another thing that can happen is life can just go very, very crappy. I mean, just suddenly anything can happen, you know? So like tonight I'm up late and I thought, well, I'm just gonna keep enjoying life for a little bit longer. Number three, buy everything at the cheapest possible price. Okay, you know the ring I bought? Uh, they had lowered the price some, um, you know, a little since, you know, I uh, first started looking at it. And, and it was a good price. It really was. And I thought, you know, this is, I've been looking at this ring and, uh, you know, unfortunately someone stole my rings in the salon so you know I had a nice nice big fake emerald ring uh, from my left hand but you know since the time uh, my rings were stolen I thought you know what I am not gonna buy any rings let them have the bad karma for me wearing these cheap rings so finally I said, you know, I'm just gonna buy this ring. It's a good price. I really like it and I'm gonna buy it. So buy, rule three is buy everything at the cheapest possible price. And how that started was I was in the salon and one of my customers, his job was to buy everything down to the toilet paper at the cheapest possible price for these wealthy people. And I thought, wow, you know, we could do, do that for ourselves. It's not that easy. If it was, everyone would do it and everyone would, you know, be better off. So, rule three, buy everything at the cheapest possible price. Rule four, God provides. Okay, Ricky and I had a friend in common, Peggy Horn. And, you know, when we were young, you know, we suffered a lot of distress, not enough money, you know. And so, uh, Ricky, to this day, still has it on her machine you know God provides which reminded me of it and I thought well you know why not take into your daily life every day 
everything is going to be okay and God is going to provide. You know, did you guys see the video I did where the lady was feeding the pigeons? They were hungry that day too. And so, you know, God provides, that's rule four. And then number five, I added, this is one of the ways life can go really, really crappy. Uh, watch and pray no accidents. And, uh, you know, accidents, they're not exactly preventable because if, if they were preventable, you just wouldn't have any accidents. But, um, you know, uh, that's why I said watch and pray no accidents. But sometimes, you know, accidents befall us and, you know, there's just nothing we can do except to endure until we get to the other side of the accidents as best as best as we can and i have been hypersensitive about accidents because i was a nursing student and you know i saw what can happen in an instant you know one bad accident the one i always mention was the lady that survived a cessna plane accident hard to get me in one of those little planes too Motor motorcycles can be a bit on the dangerous cars even in your home, you know, it's very easy to fall down. Uh, I have seen some hellacious accidents from falling down, you know. So, okay, those are the five rules. And if I think of something else, I'll come up with the sixth rule. And um, I'm praying for you all, uh, you know, that God keeps us in one piece until tomorrow morning. And, um... I hope you're doing better, uh, Saved by Grace, and, uh, you know, my other customer, t I mean, my other, you know, all the people I knew are my customers, uh, I think her name is Black, Black Raven or something, I know you've been a little sick to you, anyway, so, okay, you guys, God bless you all.